All right, guys, so this is my Dynan Folkwolf, and I'm gonna take it from an airplane that looks like this to an airplane that looks like this. This is my Dynam Folkwolf FW190. It is a big airplane. I think it's 50 inches, it takes 4S. I just got done putting the finishing touches on it and it looks like it's ready to go. Um, so what I'm gonna do uh, now to put the finishing touch on this airplane, and this is the same thing I do with all my airplanes that are painted like this, that have this slightly porous uh, paint that likes to come off if you put tape on here. Uh, which after I'm done with this, it'll still come off if you put tape on there, but it's gonna give this airplane just that little finishing touch. It is, um, min wax is what I use. I paint it over the entire airplane. It takes maybe 20 minutes a coat and you may put one to two coats on there. So it's really worth your time to do something like this. Open pour paint like this is going to take your hand oils uh, as, you're, as you're handling the airplane. Just in and out of your car, you grab it in a certain spot, you're gonna find a dark spot on the paint. So this is gonna prevent all that. Once you get this completely minwaxed, um, it can be wiped down with a rag and it's not gonna change the color of the paint. And over time, it's just gonna make your airplane look much, much better. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a can of polycrylic. It is water-based. This one's made by Minwax. Now, for you guys over there in Europe, I'm not sure if you actually can get a hold of this, but what you wanna do is make sure that it is um, a protective finish that's clear. Um, now, I should mention that if you are putting this on a white airplane, it can yellow over time, so you may not wanna put this on a white airplane. Ah, you never know. Anyway, you want a soft bristle brush. I also use the very inexpensive uh, foam brushes from uh, Home Depot as well. What you don't want to do is shake this up too much because it will get tiny little bubbles in the uh, polycrylic. So you just want to stir it once you open the can and you're just going to brush it on um, and try to push the, uh, if you get thick areas, you want to push it around and make it a little thinner, but you want to have nice even strokes. And even if you do get some little bubbles, you can go back afterwards and, and even those out with a second Coke. Okay guys, so this is my can of polycrylic. I've had it for years. Um, I've painted many, many airplanes for it with it. Just take it and stir it. Like I said, no shaking because you don't want to get uh, bubbles inside of it. And uh, use one of your old multi-rotor uh, propellers. I knew these were going to be good for something uh, since hardly anyone uses these old flimsy gym fans. Okay, so um, I'm just going to dip. You, even want, you just want to kind of dip in just the, the tips of the bristles. You really don't have to saturate the whole thing. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start painting this on. And I'll just go, give you guys a bit of a close-up here to start with. And then we'll put you guys on time lapse so I can show you guys how it looks kind of before and after. So what I'll do is, is I'll go ahead and paint this. You can see how that gray is just uh, starting to pop now. And it is going to continue to have the shine as if it was almost wet. So if you get little thick areas, just kind of brush them around, push them around the area here. I'll go ahead and just do half of this to start with. You can see when you start agitating it, it does get a little foamy. So you want to be careful with that. Just taking the very tip of the bristles and just painting it over there. All right. And you guys can see the difference there, how it's nice and shiny on one side and dull and gray on the other. So let me go ahead and finish this and we'll go ahead and put you guys on time lapse. And when you're doing a whole airplane, once everything dries, you will find some thin spots that you will need to go back and paint over. But here is the first um, part of the, uh, the battery compartment here, and it took me all of 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, uh, one other question that somebody had when I was doing polycrylic before was, do you put the decals on, or the decals, do you put the decals on before or after, and really the choice is yours. Uh, I've painted the polycrylic over decals all the time. You just wanna be careful that you don't get brush strokes uh, through the, uh, the decals and stickers and whatnot. Uh, so really the choice is yours. I'm gonna go ahead and put the decals of this airplane. Obviously I don't have any on right now, but I'm gonna put those on afterwards.
Okay guys, so I am done with the first coat here on this is the top. Once this dries, I'm gonna flip the plane over and do the underside. Now, when you look at this, uh, you know, from afar, it looks nice and shiny and everything. Uh, you'll start to see as it dries, um, you'll start to see some of the defects or the spots like here, which are a little bit less um, uh, thick in nature. A couple little spots here, but uh, once it all dries, you should go back and you'll see your mistakes pretty uh, quickly like this, this little guy right here. So just like that, and you'll need to go around your airplane. Uh, check to see if there's any like bubbles anywhere. Uh, if there's any little bubbles, you can actually um, work those out now so you don't have to worry about them later. Um, there's a couple little bubbles right here. But yeah, just uh, make sure that you do a good job. You uh, get good coverage. A couple of spots here. Now, it's very hard to tell on the light blue paint where I've hit and where I haven't, but it will become much more apparent as uh, things dry.